Well, we pride ourselves here in the triad on helping the most vulnerable in our community. And one tradition has been leading that work for more than three decades, but it's changing. Artist William Mangdon, Mangum rather, has sold thousands of original works around the world, but nothing gives him more satisfaction than creating what's known as the honor card, which you can buy for just a few dollars and know that 100% of the proceeds go to help the homeless. Tonight, Bob Buckley shares the big announcement about this year's honor card. The magic of an artist is being able to see what others can't. A simple stroke here. It has to be authentic. A smudge there. Brings a scene to life with more meaning than may first meet the eye. The inspiration for William Mangum's most meaningful work came when he met Michael Saavedra here in 1987. So you were meeting him that day outside of the Hardee's in downtown Greensboro. You don't think it was an accident? No, I don't. Absolutely not. 35 years later, it's a testimony. Saavedra was a homeless man who asked Mangum for money, and at the time, Mangum had plenty. When I left UNCG as an art major, I had meteoric success. I remember buying my first Cadillac. I felt like I deserved it. And then I joined the country club. Until the 1992 recession wiped it all out, and Mangum had to declare bankruptcy. And I recognized the gift that came so easily and so naturally was truly a blessing from the Lord. So I asked for a second chance. That second chance has lasted for 30 years now. When you first started this, where did you think it was going? Well, honestly, I really thought it was going to be a one year, one and done sort of a project. The project was for Mangum to do a painting that could be used to raise money to help the homeless, people like his friend Michael Saavedra. Each one of the honor cards has a homeless individual within it. And this year's card... Would you like it personalized or just autographed? ...will be the final one. How do you come up with 35 distinct paintings for these cards? Mm -hmm. Well, there's more um, reference to the homeless and needy in the Bible than you can imagine. Including the one from the book of Hebrews that inspired this year's card. Do not neglect to share what you have with others. For Bill Mangum, Good morning, everybody. that means more Welcome to the Wednesday morning prayer breakfast. than just sharing his artistic talent. And if this is your first time, we want to know so we can welcome you accordingly. When I wanted to, to expand the program, I knew that I had to make it authentic. So going down on the Wednesday morning prayer breakfast was a way of serving that community. Which he has done for most of the last 1,800 Wednesdays. All right, you're going to serve together. Which is why Bill's friend, Michael Saavedra, is smiling somewhere. Michael's mother wrote to Bill about how she saw God's reflection in the way Bill cared for Michael before he died in 1990. You saw his generosity, his kindness, his sensitivity, his loyalty, his sharing of himself, and all of his worldly goods. You saw his soul and found it worthy. And honors Michael's life in each year's card. Be careful to entertain strangers. Bob Buckley. For by doing so, some have entertained angels. Fox 8 News. And just because this is William Mangum's last honor card doesn't mean the program is over. The Greensboro Urban Ministry plans to identify a new artist, maybe more than one, to continue the tradition. So there will be a new card next year and going forward.